Okay, hello everybody out there on YouTube. This is Maxwell P. Ron coming to you with another video review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Marvel Avengers Super Lego Superheroes Marvel Avengers Infinity War Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. Yish. Try remembering a name like that. Anyway, normally I would look at the box, but this is a really big set with a lot of bits and pieces to it, so we're just going to get right down into talking about the set. So, oh man, there's a, there's a lot that goes in with this set. I hope I have enough time to do it. If not, I'll be breaking it down into two parts. So, to start off with, normally I would save the main big build part for last. However, since there's so much that goes on in the actual set of it, we're going to push all the characters and their visual effects and their effects stop off to the side minus whatever is currently attached to the building and start talking about the actual set itself. So, the main big part of the set is the Sanctum Sanctorum with what appears to be probably Peter Parker's apartment building. And there is a lot of nice detail that's been put into this building. I love this brickwork design that bricks that they use for this set. It's really nice. Really cool. So yeah, I'm taking a look on the side. Here we've got uh, Bleaker Street. We got ourselves a little Pepe's Pizza. We've got a fire escape. We've got um, all other bits and pieces of stuff there. And we've got ourselves a water tower, which is cool. Turning around to this side, we've got ourselves a spider web, a couple other things like a. What does that say? Uh, that says web design class, call number. Uh. I'm not going to focus too much on the inside right now. We'll start looking at that after we flip the building around. And here we've got a little... Oh, coming back down. Sorry. Here we got a little, like, um, news, news little corner thing. We've got ourselves a newspaper dispenser, a corner thing. Some web with a cell phone on it and a trash can that actually can open up and it's got a little cup of bones in there and then there's also a slice of pizza right here on the ground Put that on there. and then turning it over onto this side here we actually have the sanctum sanctorum and so, um, yeah, here's the front side of it. I love the um, what they did with the designing of the entryweight to the bit of it. And they've also got the address right there. 177A. <laughs> I find this amazing because they're referencing Sherlock Holmes in this because of the fact that, well, Doctor Strange is played... Doctor Strange is played by Benedict Cumberbatch, and he plays... Sherlock Holmes of 221B Baker Street. Instead, he's uh, 177A on uh, Bleecker Street, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, uh, coming up a little bit, we've got the big glass thing that what almost looks like kind of like an eye, but it's not. And then we got like some couple chimney designs and whatnot, which is pretty. Oh. Camera up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Couple chimney like things, balconies mostly. Um, and then if we turn the set completely around, up oh, here we've got um a couple other sticker designs on the side of the building. Got a portal which has an entrance on the other ins on the inside and then we've got this whatever that is and then here we have the inside of it so one quick moment to take this little corner section off it 
can come off fairly readily. And put this over here and open it up the open up the set completely so we can take a look at the inside of the building. Bring the camera up a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have the greatest of lighting right now, but I do have a lamp. Just bring the lamp down, and as long as it'll stay focused, there we go. Oh my, okay, there we go. There we go. Nice lighting in there now. <laughs> Take an actual look on the inside of the um, actual building. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on inside of this building here. Here we've got the sanctum part of it, and here we've got the apartment building bit of it. And there's a lot, a lot of playability that goes on in here. So, for starters, oh, here, go into some of the details. There's a chair with a like an axe thing, a sword, and a chain thing here with a lamp. Um, the doors do open. I forgot to mention that. Doors do open. The windows do not, though. But there's some playability with it. So I'll be showing that off here in a moment. Um, so, yeah. Um, Playability-wise... And other details, uh, there's, bring it over so you can see, there's actually a bookshelf on the upper levels, which in my opinion is pretty, pretty cool. And then, then on this side we just got Peter Parker's apartment, you got the bedroom, you got the computer room, you got boxes of that says Pete's stuff, and then you got the pizzeria that's got a little pizza thing, a cash thing, and pizza oven, fire extinguisher, and the ore for it. So, what is there for playability? Well, there's a number of different things. We're going to, for the whole sake of it, I'm doing this on the floor, we're going to grab out Red the Lego figure to show off some of the different playability features that are in this Lego set. For at least some level of character interactions before I actually show off the set with the people inside of it. Now he can sit in the chair if you so want. You can be up at the desk, you can be at the desk, working on things, doing all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, there's the other portal thing. Right in there. Right there. Right there. Um, uh, yeah, so up here on this story, if you got like your figure loosely attached onto there, there's a little, lever, this lever right here, on this side of the building, little red thing right there, and turn this, turning this thing around, you pull it, activates a drop door, which then drops your character in. And to recess that, you just bring the door back up, and you just take that door, th that thing, and just close it up, and then it stays nice and solid in there. Um, there are several different places for pushing out um, walls, windows, and parts of a bookshelf. To do that, we need to get this facing the other side, and there's also another character push-off point. So let's get this back to its standard street corner view. Come on. Perfect. Attach the garbage can back. Okay. So we'll start off with this side of the building. Raise up the camera a little bit. There's a character push-off point right up here, which is where Ebony Ma is supposed to stand, but I haven't looked at him yet, so he'll just stay off to the side for the now. So you got Red up there, and there's a little switch on the back side of it that you push it, and he falls. See, whoop, whoop. That gets pushed back in. Uh, there's a couple other things for uh, windows falling out interactions. 
That spider web that's on this side of the building, it's actually a lever. You push that lever down and it pushes out the window. That's right by Peter Parker's bedroom, which is pretty cool. And it just connects and right back into there, like so, with the thing being up. Another window interaction thing is right here at Pepe's Pizza. Down here at Pepe's Pizza. You got this little red, this little trigger thing here. You push that and it pushes out the Pepe's Pizza window. And that one just, ah! Can't, clicks right back in, like so. Oh, man. And then, over on this side over here, I don't know. Ah, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it a little bit. I'll zoom in. There's an infinity stone. Right there. See? It's right there. How you get access to them is by this little turny thingy over here. And what you do then is... Uh, well, in case if you're wondering for storage, it does fold up completely. But what you do is, you take this little knob, turning the building over back around, you take this knob, and you turn it, and it pushes it open to reveal access to the Infinity Stone. However, that's, that's where the instructions tell you to put it, and me being me, and if you've been watching my other Infinity War set videos, you know that I've been... Giving them secondary one with spare parts. So yeah, uh, turning it back to the inside, there's still a little bit that goes on in the Sanctorum that I forgot to mention. Um, right up here, we've got this treasure chest. You open that up, and inside, uh, I'll just take it out, and inside it, you got a couple little knives that you can give to a character. When I don't have Doctor Strange holding the secondary um, Infinity Stone, I actually just put it in the chest. And there's no other sliding shelves, no other nothings. There's... Yeah. That's virtually it for the big main set part of it. So we're going to put that off to the back side and just bring in the five different characters that come with this set in particular. Heroes on one side, villains on the other. So from go going from left to right, we've got Call Obsidian, Ebony Ma, Doctor Strange, Iron Spider-Man, and Iron Man Mark 50. Now, unfortunately, due to time, I do not have enough time to talk about all the characters, show off their details, and also the effects parts that uh, are, come with them. So, that will wrap it up for part one of the video review of the Marvel Leg the Marvel's Lego Superhero Marvel's Infinity War Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. And until the second part, this is Maxwell P. Rhyme signing off and asking you to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with some everything you might like it, and to check me out on social media. Links will be in the description down below. And so until next time, I'll just catch you all later. Camera